Welcome to this week's G.I. Joe uh, Toy Review. We are yet again still in Cobra Month. And this week I am reviewing the Master of Disguise in Zartan. And uh, before we get to Zartan here, let's do our shout outs of the week. Starting with uh, Back to the Media at 48 South Loudoun Street here in Winchester, Virginia, where you can get all your video game needs from the Atari all the way up to current systems. And while you're there, you can go across the street, diagonally across the street to uh, Time Travel Toys and Collectibles and get all your G.I. Joe toys and Transformers and and whatnot there. I did get this version of Sartan there. He was in a three-pack with uh, two other figures. And uh, I'm glad I picked this guy up. And uh, while you're there, check them out. You can get all kinds of stuff there. And uh, if you need a comic book, uh, it's scratched. Go out and check uh, Four Color Fantasies at 80 Weems Lane and check out what they have and get all your uh, video game needs met there. And definitely, please do check them out. And while you're in that neighborhood, definitely check them out. And get all your uh, comic book needs from Marvel to DC and whatnot. And if you get the taste for um, Jamaican food, go and check out Tropical Islands on Piccadilly Street and see Lloyd and his wonderful crew and get all your awesome Jamaican food there and great conversation with his Lloyd and his crew. So definitely, definitely check them out. And while you're while you're there and you're looking for a bank, you can either I can suggest to you uh, Bank of Clark or United Bank. Definitely check either one of them out. I'm a member of both banks, so definitely go ahead and check them out. And uh, Cobra Island is a firm supporter of mental health awareness. So definitely check out uh, Healing Grace Counseling Services and see Robert C. Brown. And if Rob doesn't have what you're looking for, may I suggest Northwestern Community Services. You know, you get peer group counseling and whatnot and, and all the like there. So definitely check them out. And uh, if you need insurance, may I suggest go uh, State Farm. And uh, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And hey, if you're lucky, if you call him, you might get Jake. So let's go ahead and look at uh, Zartan. We're going to start out with his file card. And like the last couple of weeks, he has two file cards, which are double-sided. Both of them's got a language on each side. You know, but being that I speak English, I'm going to go ahead and use the English, uh, the English version. As soon as I can pick it up and find it. There it is. Where it says, Master of Disguise, codenamed Zartan. And of course you got a picture of Zartan right there. 50th anniversary logo. It says, file name unknown. Aliases, too numerous to list. Primary military specialty is infiltration. Secondary military specialty is espionage. Birthplace is unknown. So Zartan can alter his skin color at will to blend in with his environment. He's a master of makeup and disguise. Ventriloquist, linguist, acrobatic contortionist, and pra practitioner of several mystic martial arts. All, that, all this makes him almost impossible to find or capture. When hit and run and torpedo close in on him, he heads into the swamp and uses every trick he knows to escape from the persistent G.I. Joe pair. And yes, he did come with Torpedo and Hit and Run, which I'll be reviewing, reviewing later on this year. Actually, I know I'll be hitting Torpedo in August. You know, after Cobra Month is over. Hit and Run will be after that. But uh, let's take a look at his accessories. Which he comes with his book bag, and it does open. As you see, it's just like that. It opens up. And he also comes with three masks. He's got a Storm Shadow mask. A Duke mask and just a plain bald-headed man mask which actually when he pushes on it kind of makes him look like Jesus in a uh, Sartan uniform <laughs> he also has this has a uh, hand pistol nicely sculpted hand pistol he has a knife and a crossbow the 25th anniversary didn't come with the crossbow, it actually came with the Chameleon Swap Skier, a miniature version of the 25th anniversary. So let's take a look at Zartan. 
And they didn't do the color change gimmick that they did in the original, original vintage version from the 1980s. But, you know, he still looks like Zartan. With the cow. With the white eyes. With the black makeup on his eyes. Around his eyes. But this time he's got a tan. Like a metal looking kind of overshirt. With an undershirt underneath it. With the shoulder pads. Bare arms. Black gloves. Got his maroonish pants. You know, really good looking figure. You know. He's got the shin guards. And of course, he does have his head to can turn left to right. He can't do a 360 because of the the cow prevents it. His arm can race about yay high. You know, and he can rotate the full 360. He can bend at the elbow, as you can see, and then it can rotate the full 360. And his wrist can move full 360. And plus he has his infamous digital watch right there on that wrist. If you remember the episode Countdown to Sartan, he does have the app crunch feature, which he can move slightly. And uh, he does have the full splits. He can lift his legs so, so far up. He's got the double knee joint. And his ankle can pivot slightly and it can rotate the full 360 and that's the articulation on this guy so let's go ahead and look at him in battle mode so here's Zartan in battle mode I got his uh, Duke and Snow Storm Shadow mask in his, pocket, in his book bag because I can't fit the, all three of them in there but I like to su supply him with sublime with this with the average mask so let's take a look at him with the average mask on. So here he is with that av with that average person mask. It fits quite in the it fits right in the under the cowl and it fits on very securely. You know, so it doesn't fall out. But this is a I would rank this as a top tier Zartan. I like it with the mask options. Where you got three different options. You could be this guy. You could have him as regular Zartan, or you could have him as dressed up as Duke or Storm Shadow. And uh but I think this is a really good looking Duke. I mean, not Duke, but Zartan. Uh, I rank him as a top tier. It's always good to have Zartan. So, uh, I would highly suggest getting this three pack just for this Zartan. Um, all three of them are good looking figures, but I'll, y'all go into the other two later on. But I would definitely get that case, that three pack just for this Zartan. Um, especially with all the different masks. But, um,. This is it for Cobra Island, you know, and Sartan. And as always, now you know, and knowing is head to battle. Cobra! See you in the next one. Peace.